Okay. I'm streaming. I was making sure it was working first. So tonight I'm going to cook some marlin and some veggies and I've already got some sweet potatoes in the oven. So I'm going to go start getting stuff ready and get cooking. So I was in Mexico last month and I like to head down there a lot and we caught a little bit of fish and luckily a friend of ours on their boat, they caught a um, marlin. So luckily I scored a little bit of marlin steak off of that. So I actually haven't cooked marlin steak in quite a long time, but it's kind of like cooking a real steak. And since I had it frozen, I wanted to frost. I kind of soaked it in some warm water and I also brined it at the same time. So it's been soaking, it's all defrosted now. And also, because I want to get it going, I'm going to cook broccoli and a little bit of squash. So I'm going to get the broccoli chopped up so I can toss that in the oven first. and uh, up, throw in a bowl of oil, some seasoning on it, toss in the oven. Yeah, like I said, I got the olive oil in there. I tend to like salt, so get it nice and salty. I'm using just coarse sea salt. And then just pick some kind of flavor seasoning of your pick. And 
since I just threw the olive oil in there, just kind of mix them around, get it coated. Now the oven temp, I've got it at 400. I tend to like my veggies crispy, so I tend to cook on kind of high heat, so around 400. Decent. All right, timer's already 13, so I'll just wait and I'll flip it when it hits that point. And just so I got it in the fridge just to cook it. I'm gonna do a little bit of squash. Squash should be really simple because I'm just gonna grill it. Real simple thing to do, just slice the tips off and quarter it. Makes it real simple. Oop. And same thing, just a little bit of olive oil and some seasoning. I'm just gonna use Jane salt. Alright, put those aside. Now this new camera angle I got set up, which has kind of got some latency problems, is actually the grill camera. So which is this guy. So I may have to adjust it later in the week to get this working better. Let's try and fix this real quick before I go out there. Grill cam. There we go. I think that'll work. Yeah, there might be a little bit of a latency lag issue here, but we'll see if it works. Slide off real quick. All right, let's make sure it's on. All right, so I'm gonna let that heat up, kind of burn off the grease, get that prepped. Oh, I'm gonna put it on medium heat because I don't want to get it too hot. And we'll get the steaks ready. Uh oh, see, that's what I get for screwing with cameras. I lost one. And that one. There we go. All right, so like I mentioned, got Merlin here, which I caught about a month ago. It's been frozen. So I defrosted it, kind of soaked it in salt water for a little bit. And I think we need to dry that off first. It's a lot like cooking normal steak, but we just got to slice it up and get it all seasoned how we want it. about half of this tonight. So I'm gonna use this section right here. So I'm gonna cut this away. There we go. Put that back. 
And so we're gonna end up cooking on this side of the steak. And so we're gonna do like three quarter inch fillets. In fact, we'll just chop this into quarters. Skin, because I haven't done marlin in a long time. I think we just want to peel it off or flay it off. Well, that seems like too much work, so I'll probably just cook it and peel it off when we're done. Eh, yeah, that'll work.